Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another book review. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Cyclops Road by Jeff Strand. This is the second book I've ever read by him. The first was The Haunted Forest Tour, which I love. That was an awesome B-movie style uh, story. So if you haven't checked out my review on that, definitely go check that out, too. But this is the story of a guy named Evan. He uh, just loses his wife to cancer, and he kind of randomly stumbles upon a woman in the park. It, apparently, she's being mugged, or it seems like she's being mugged. So he meets her and he kind of finds out that she is on a mission across the country from Florida to Arizona to slay a Cyclops, if you can believe that. Like, I'm not going to give away if there's a real Cyclops or anything like that, but that's basically where the story takes off. And then it's a road trip uh, friendship book from then on out. So you're going to get into lots of antics on the road, meet interesting people. And that's that's kind of how the story like kicks off. And that's how it goes but I'm not going to spoil the ending for you. There's a few things I really liked about this book. Overall, I really liked it, but I want to name a few specific things. The first was the characters. You're going to meet a lot of really interesting characters on this journey. People that are very over the top and very stereotypical. Um, I like, you know, certain books have very believable characters and that's what really makes those types of stories for me. But this one was just so over the top and so ridiculous that it wasn't like he failed at making realistic characters. It's like he purposely wanted to make these out of these out of this world style, like personalities and, uh, you know, lifestyles and stuff. So it was just a lot of fun. Um, the next thing I like I want to talk to you about on the, what I liked about this is just the story in general, the road trip style. I didn't really care about the mission to slow the Cyclops, but I love road trip books. I love road trip movies. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time is Euro Trip, which isn't necessarily a road trip. It kind of is, but in Europe, because they have to first go over there. But that's one of my all time favorite movies. And I just love like the antics that groups of friends get into on the road. So that's really what I um, liked about this. And it, reading this actually made me want to read another book, another road trip book, which is going on my April TBR. I won't uh, release what book that is, but if you want to see what book I'm going to be reading in April, then um, check out the April TBR video, which will be coming soon. And the final thing I want to mention on what I liked about this is the ending. Not the ending ending, but the very last scene of the ending. I, I was kind of expecting that, and I was hoping this would happen. it would happen like that, and it did happen how I expected. So that's the last thing that I really liked about it. There's only a couple things I didn't like about it, and they're not too huge, but um, I do want to note them. The first is the unanswered questions. There is an overarching unanswered question that I was kind of expecting to be unanswered, but still, I'm not a huge fan of unanswered questions and stories. So that was something I didn't like. And then the next thing is there was so much wasted potential for adventure if i was to write this book and i'm not a writer but if i was to write this book i just have a lot of ideas that could have made for more adventure more antics for the people to get into crazy scenarios and i could have really i think i have some like really funny ideas that could have happened and i think jeff strand like wasted that potential um I hope that the next book I read by him, which is similar without the Cyclops, I hope that has more of the type of road trip antics that I'm expecting. But um, that kind of disappointed me. So uh, anyways, though, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're liking this video, hit the like button and let me know if you think that you might read this and what you thought about if you did read it in the comments below. So who should read this book? I think there's really like two groups of people or People that are interested in two different things would like this book. If you like B-movies or B-movie style stories and books, you'll probably like this. You don't really have to be interested in the Cyclops to really understand this book. But if you are, you know, that might help. I, I didn't really care about the Cyclops. I was mainly in it for like the road trip story. So uh, if you like B-movies, though, you'll probably like this. And then obviously, if you like road trip uh stories then that's also something that would really interest you there are some antics this isn't the greatest road trip story ever told but it's certainly um decent i think you're going to get a lot of the stuff that you're expecting if you're going into it hoping for a road trip story and you know this is a short video but that's really all i have to say about this i uh you know i like jeff strand i think he writes some decent books this is my second one so far and next month there's going to be another one on my tbr so uh you know if uh 
this is a book that you think you might want to check out, then check it out. Just know that there's a little Cyclops and lots of road tripping. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.